Hello everyone. Welcome back to Simplify Studies. In today's module, we are going to study about the major temperature zones of the Earth. Earth is a huge planet and its shape is called geoid because it is flattened at the ends and bulging at the equator and this is the reason why all the places on the earth do not receive the same amount of heat from the sun if the earth would have been flat and its axis straight then all the places on the earth would have received the same amount of sunlight equator and the regions near it receive direct sun rays whereas sun rays become slanting as we move away from the equator now let us study about the heat zones the earth can be divided into three different zones on the basis of the amount of heat received from the sun the three different heat zones are the torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone now let us learn about the position and the climate of these heat zones let us begin today's class with torrid zone torrid zone also known as the tropical zone lies between the equator and the tropics that is it lies between the equator and the tropic of cancer in the northern hemisphere and the equator and the tropic of capricorn in the southern hemisphere it extends from 0 degree to 23 and half in each hemispheres the temperature in this region is quite high that is why it is called the torrid zone torrid means intensely hot this region is not only very hot but also receives very heavy rainfall at 2 pm all the major deserts are present in this zone Now I want you all to find out the names of the world's largest hot deserts and the countries in which they are located. Not only deserts but because of heavy rainfall and sunlight here you can also find dense rainforest. Thus torrid zone has wet and dry season. Do you know the green anaconda found in the Amazon rainforest is the largest snake in the world a special feature of this snake is that they have their eyes and nostrils on top of their heads so that they can quietly wait for their prey while completely under water isn't it interesting this region receives high rainfall because of the high temperature near the equator which causes faster evaporation of water from the earth's surface and thus causes a lot of rain but can you tell me why it rains around 2 pm only i'll be waiting for your answers in the comment section next we have temperate zone as usual there are two temperate zones one in northern hemisphere and the other one in southern hemisphere The temperate zone receives the slanting rays of the sun and therefore it is neither very hot nor very cold. The northern temperate zone lies between the tropic of Cancer and the arctic circle and the southern temperate zone lies between the tropic of Capricorn and the antarctic circle. The climate in these zones are moderate or temperate. but this zone is the largest among all the climate zones next we have frigid zone it is also known as polar zones again there are two polar zones one in southern hemisphere and the other one in northern hemisphere the word frigid means very cold the north frigid zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole and polar bears are found here while the southern frigid zone lies between the antarctic circle and the south pole and penguins are found here but can you tell me why polar bears are found in arctic region and penguins are found in antarctic region only well this is because the nature of the ice in the two frigid zones is very different the frigid zone gets very little sunlight or warmth of the sun 
The ground here is largely frozen and is known as permafrost, means permanently frozen ground. Now, let us quickly revise all the heat zones. First, torrid zone which lies between 23.5 north to 0 degree to 23.5 south. Second, temperate zone which lies between 23.5 north to 66.5 north and 23.5 south to 66.5 south. And at last we have frigid zone which is between 66.5 degree north to north pole and 66.5 degree south to south pole. Now I have a question for you all. I want to know why are Himalayas very cold throughout the year in spite of being near the equator? I'll be waiting for your answers. Goodbye for now and have a good day.